Hi, I'm Barbara Lieb with Century 21 Affiliated. I'm based in our Appleton, Wisconsin office, but I've got a wide territory that I sell and help buyers purchase homes in. I go from the Fox Valley, west of Wapaka, and into the north woods like Townsend, Lakewood, Lang Lake County, and a little bit further north. So if you are looking to buy or sell in any of those areas, please give me a call. My phone number is below on this video. Today, I want to talk about walking scores for properties. If you've been looking for a property, you may see on the, on the internet walking scores. For that particular property. What is a walk score? A walk score assesses how conveniently residents are able to reach their destinations on foot. It is the foremost standard for measuring walkability with comprehensive coverage across all addresses in the United States. The score is calculated by the distance between your home and the nearby amenities along with the length of time it takes you to walk to them. Although not foolproof, it remains the only consistent and easy to understand metric. Walk scores can range from zero to 100. Zero is low, and of course 100 is a high score. For example, a score of 90 or higher indicates a walker's paradise while a score of 70 to 90 signifies that most errands can be accomplished on foot. If a score falls within the range of 0 to 24, a car is required to complete most of your errands, meaning they are generally over a mile in distance. There are a couple of other factors uh, that are put into the score as well, and they are pedestrian friendliness, now you may wonder, what is that? That means, are there shorter blocks to walk, more intersections, lower speed limits, a great number of sidewalks to get to nearby amenities? And the second factor that comes into play is amenities. A large part of the scoring metric is based on accessibility to amenities. Amen amenities can be cultural, in entertainment centers, restaurants, bars, banks, pharmacies, supermarkets, parks and recreation, schools and shopping centers. What are the advantages of a high walk score? With the ability to walk most places, you could save money on parking and gas, which can also help reduce your carbon footprint. Living in an area with a high walk score is conducive to meeting your neighbors and building strong relationships with the people in the community. Cities with high walk scores are experiencing economic growth, increased sustainability, and greater resident satisfaction. A one point increase in a walk score can increase the price of a home by an average of $3,250 or 0.9%. Other scores to consider when you're looking at urban areas is a bike score and a transit score. I hope this information was helpful to you. I'm Barbara Lape with Century 21 Affiliated. Thank you so much for watching.